Hi, in this problem we are going to graph this piecewise function. We're going to find the domain and we're also going to find the range. Let's go ahead and go through it. Solution. Start by drawing the y-axis and then the x-axis. So there's x, there's y. Okay, so my line's a little crooked. That's because I'm actually writing at an angle, so it's a little bit harder to draw straight lines, but Draw straight lines. Uh, you can do better than me when it comes to uh, these straight lines because I'm writing at a sideways angle so I could film this. So let's go ahead and start with this piece here. So whenever you have a greater than or a less than, uh, what basically happens is you're going to have a hole. Okay, you're going to have a hole. And to find the y value of the hole, you just take this number and you plug it in here. Now, I know that sounds wrong because, you know, x is not equal to zero here. So if you plug in zero to your function, you're supposed to use this piece. We're basically breaking the rules. So we're just gonna take this and plug it in here. Um, so this is zero plus one equals one. So there's a hole when x is zero and y is one. So there's a hole right here. And then x plus one is aligned with a positive slope. So it's gonna go up like this. It's valid for x values greater than zero. So we're gonna go this way, okay? Cause we only care about x is greater than zero. So we're going this way. As far as this one, we can plug in the zero. We simply get zero. So there's a dot here, right? Because this would be the point zero comma zero. This is also um, a straight line with a positive slope. So it's going up, okay? And we only draw it over here because we only care about x's less than or equal to zero. So it's supposed to be a straight line. There it is. And that's the graph, right? That's pretty much it. For the domain, we're looking for the set of all x values that um, give rise to y values. So no matter what x value I pick here on the x-axis, I'm always gonna get a y value, right? Even the ones you don't see, because this goes up forever and this goes down forever. Even zero, right? I get a y value here of zero. So the domain is all real numbers. The range is all the possible y values. So this goes down forever. That's what the arrow means, it goes down forever. So you go from negative infinity all the way to zero. You include the zero, so you use a bracket, okay? And it starts at one, but you don't include it. So you use a parentheses for the one, and then it goes up forever. So it's negative infinity to zero, one to infinity. You go from the bottom up to find the range, right? Negative infinity to zero, one to infinity. Bracket on this one, because there's a solid dot. Parentheses on this one, because it's um, not included, because there's a hole. So kind of quick, lots of information, but hopefully this has been helpful to you. Good luck.